Hello hamster gangs, today I'm gonna be making a a Gyarados that goes along with Magikarp. So I'm gonna start with some core wool. Unlike other Pokemons I made, the very first thing I'm gonna make is a water drop shape instead of the bun shape. The bottom part must be flat like always. And I'm gonna make a line at the one third of the shape and it's gonna be around the whole thing including the bottom. I'm gonna make another line right here. Um, it's gonna be one third of whatever it's on the top um, this part right here the last line is gonna be in the middle of the top part looks like a poop and using the sky blue color I'm gonna cover the whole thing unlike the first section it's not necessary to cover the bottom part because I'm going to use the different color for the belly. And go over the lines again. There we go. A blue poop. <laughs> and now I'm going to use this honey color to cover the belly but uh, that belly button, <laughs> belly part, um, just just right here, and give this area a nice round edge. And now I'm gonna add some um, half oval patterns on each section. And now I'm gonna make three horns for the fin. One big and two smalls. So take a little piece and just roll it. One side of the horn has to be pointy and firm and the other side has to be uh, loose. I'm gonna place the big one right in the middle of the second section and then place these little horns next to each other next to the big one Using this small amount of the same color wool, I'm gonna wrap this around to blend them together to make it into a fin. This is the same method I used for the Magikarp's fin. This one right here. I'm gonna make exactly the same one 
but a little smaller and then, uh, and then I'm gonna attach it to the next section right here And now I'm gonna make the tail so in order to make a tail um, the very first thing that you're, you have to do is make a um, the felt sheet you just need to make it flat when you're doing this make sure you're holding the needle um, 45 angle degrees So don't hold this straight up, it's going to take a longer time. And flip this over. Repeat this process over and over until it becomes um, evenly flat. Nice and tight. And now using the scissors, cut this into a fan shape attach this blue wool around the edge of um, the thing The blue wool make a line in the middle of um, this thing, the tail. Attach this tail at the end of the body. Back to the honey color wool. We're gonna use this for the lips. It's gonna be placed on the very front of the face. It's gonna be looked like this. I'm poking the middle part as I'm gently pushing the upper lip downward. Fill in the mouth with the red color. I decided to make the bottom lip curved instead of the, the upper lip because, I don't know, I wanted to make Gyarados and Magikarp look similar to each other there we go much better and then I'm gonna attach these eyeballs it's always good to arrange eyes first before you actually glue them into the face so that way you won't mess up so I made two triangular fins with the leftover felt sheet that I made previously. And now I'm gonna cover the upper edge with the blue wool. And now I'm gonna make a horn on forehead with this um, teal color. To 
place the middle glue first. In Pokemon anime, Gyarados has whiskers that are the same color as their body, but I decided to use um, teal color instead to emphasize it, and it's gonna make it look more cute. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, give this video a like, and comment below what you think about this cute little Gyarados. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>